How's the tour been going so far? It's awesome. We're about, I think we're halfway through. Either today or tomorrow is the halfway point. And uh, it's been really good. It's, it's crazy playing like big ass rooms. Big ass rooms. Like we did Canada and it was all like hockey arenas. You did some festivals though. So. Yeah, we played the New England Metal Fest in uh, New England. Worcester. It was awesome. Did you play Bach in too? Oh yeah, we, we did that, not on this yeah, tour, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you really had to pee. Yeah. It happened. <laughs> yeah, we did we did Vakin last year and this summer we're doing a bunch of festivals in Europe. Yeah, I saw that. And some smaller venues too. Oh yeah. We like we like to play the small places. So you prefer the small places? Yeah. They're crazier. The shows get rowdier. And then we just stays in there, doesn't Yeah, it? yeah, it's just it's nice and cloudy. Well, you got a new album coming out in August. It's kind of far away, but still. It's just it, around the corner. Is it going to be good old thrash and roll, or is it going to be a little bit different? It's definitely a thrash album. It's, it's. I don't know. I think, I think we managed to work, work out like the aspects of punk that we like the most, the aspects of metal that we like the most, and try to combine them. Cool. And uh, we always say that that we do that with every album, but I think this album we really, really pulled it off. Um, I have one of your picture discs from the art department. Oh, really? And I enjoy it very much. Cool. Do y'all like vinyl? Yeah, that's we like. We are me and the guitar player Ryan are like complete record nerds, like okay. vinyl nerds. So, I love records. He so. knows he bought his mom. Oh, he, he buys them for you. <laughs> yeah. I bought Deicide the other day at the Mushroom. Yeah, but that was from me though. Which album? Oh, uh, shit! What album was I don't it? Remember. It's not their most recent one. I, I don't know what Legion. I don't that on vinyl. Get on CD. I don't know. What's the difference to you between CD and vinyl? I just like having the artwork big. I don't know. It sounds better to me. Um, it, does, it sounds better to me too. Yeah. And I read something that said it sounds better because it's actual vibrations, which is what uh, music is, what sound is, instead of just a picture of the sound, you know, reproduction. Wow. That makes sense. And then somebody tried to dispute that, and I disputed them. Did you fight them physically? No, or? they wrote it on the sheet of paper, and I wrote something nasty. <laughs> yeah, at college. Right. Anyway. College. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. That is a crazy ring. It's a fork. It must have been a really big one. <laughs> but anyway, but is there any rivalry between the, the, the newer generation of fresh bands, or is there a camaraderie? I don't, um, we don't really play with a lot of, of the newer thrash bands. Um, we try to play with bands that don't sound like us, you know? but um, the bands we do play with, we love, and we end up hanging out with, like Toxic Holocaust, I mean, mm -hmm. those are our boys. I got to see them. They're yeah, awesome. you're great. Good friends of ours. And, um, yeah, I mean, our band is weird. We, we don't, like, we don't really care about rivalries or who's doing what. Like, we just play music to, like, have fun and meet people, you know, like, that's that's all I give a shit about. I don't really care who's the cool band this week or whatever. And most, most of the bands that we bring out on tour are friends of ours. It isn't even really a music thing. Like, yeah, I just, you know, we bring out Iron Lung. I, I love Iron Lung personally, but, you know, we, we know those guys as friends. We've been playing shows with them for, like, eight years. So, we, let's go. What bands are we going to bring? I'll, I'll bring Iron Lung. They rule, you know? And, uh, yeah, that's that's what we do. When we, we go on tours, we open for bands. You know, they bring the bands they want. So when we go on tour, we bring our friends' bands, so we can, so we can have fun. Are y'all friends with Liam McGaugh? Oh yeah, I stayed I stayed on their bus last night. Like those are my boys. It was great. Yeah, they're cool. They like they look out for us, man. We're we're the smaller Richmond band, you know. They're, they're Richmond boys too. Everybody everybody in Richmond on the road takes care of each other. You know? How many bands are there in Richmond? There's so many bands I couldn't even begin to name. They're all doing stuff. They're all putting out records and touring. And, you know, it's not just metal bands. It's, there's, you know, any kind of genre of music. There's usually a couple kick-ass bands that are, that are doing it. Even country. Even country. Um. Well, yeah. Actually, there is. Yeah, I like I, country. Yeah. There, there's that. That seems. I mean, I'm not super familiar with it, but yeah, I know, I know that there is some. Because our scene in New Orleans not necessarily Lafayette, although I hear there's. A Country bands? Some country bands too. But there, there's metal bands here. Yeah. But I know the scene in New Orleans, everybody says it's huge. 
show. I'm always going to shows there, even when I'm dead tired. I have to go to the show. We played the Dixie Tavern years ago, and we, we heard it was like the best place to play. It was like kind of legendary. And we didn't even have a show there. We just were so drunk. We just showed up. And we were like, we're playing tonight. And they're like, what? And it was like around 2 in the morning. And they stayed open. I, I don't even know if they were closing, but I don't know how late that place stayed open. But they stayed open. They let us set up, and they let us play a show there. So, yeah, it was really cool. That's my New Orleans story. Do you have any more cool stories? For, uh, from New Orleans? For anywhere. I wrestled a dude with one arm in front of the Dixie Tavern later on that night. Wow. Yeah. And he kicked my ass. <laughs> Was that due to the drinking or just he's... No, he's just a badass. He's my buddy. He, sa he sings for uh, Ages of Satan. Huh? And uh, they actually did a split with Lamb of God. A split seven inch years ago when Lamb of God was called Burn the Priest. And that's a little history note for you. <laughs> for you record collectors out there. <laughs> Let's talk about other stuff. This is boring <laughs> questions I answer. <laughs> You like to party. I like to party. Does your band party really hard? We used to, then we got kind of sick of it. <laughs> I don't know, we say, we say we don't party anymore, but like, we, we get pretty crazy on this tour. So, I mean, yeah, we hang out. You know, I'm not like a drug addict or anything stupid like that. I just like to have fun. Mm -hmm. I like to have a good time. I like to meet people and get in trouble. <laughs> That's what I like to do, but I like to do it with not so many people around. Yeah. So people think I'm antisocial. I just don't like anybody. Social anxiety? Yeah. I don't know. I call it hating people. They call it social, social anxiety. anxiety. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So, you're going to Houston tomorrow? Houston's tomorrow, and then Dallas, and Corpus Christi. Okay. Or vice versa. I can't remember. Okay. I, don't I don't even know what day it is right now. <laughs> I don't know. It's Thursday. Thursday, okay. I had to think, too. I can't believe I was in school this morning, and now I'm here <laughs> talking to you. It's so yeah, it's, I mean, it's been crazy, like, doing, doing this tour. It's like, yeah, I've totally like, lost track of time, and everything's so fast. Even, even getting to the venues, like, everyone's friends, all the bands have been hanging out and getting along really well. So it's like, you get to the show, and you're always into something. If not, you're busy setting up your equipment or getting ready to play. Playing, and then afterwards, just hang out with everyone again. It's great. Do you like touring, or? Best job in the world. All right, that's awesome. Yeah. Do you prefer, like, recording? Or just going on tour and having fun or staying at home working and then I like I like um I like I'd say I like being home better because I have a lot of good friends there, you know. But uh like it's fun to be home and like write songs and just go to band practice and just create stuff, you know, like we it was really that was we had a long time a long break, you know, at this winter just to write the new album and record it and that was fun because we were just I mean, it's, it's, it's weird because it's stressful, but it's also really fun because you create something, you know? We got we got 13 new songs done and recorded it. We have an album now. Like, then we're going to tour for that for two years. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any stories about your tattoo? Um, this one I got in Australia. Is it? It's a chicken. chicken. It's a chicken wizard. Chicken wizard. Uh, yeah. Chicken wizard, it's a fast food chain in Australia. It's not even a chain. It's just a fast food restaurant in Sydney and uh, that band Converge <laughs> they, after they saw my tattoo went and found the Chicken Wizard in Sydney they were like Chicken Wizard like you know me <laughs> um, I want to go try that too it's, uh, the food's not that great but it, I mean it's a Chicken Wizard <laughs> and my nieces love it we're going to Whataburger I want to do that you want to come with I'll do that I heard, it, I heard, that's, I heard that's a spot right I don't know, I haven't eaten it. It's, to me, it's heavenly. Because they only have a couple of them, so maybe that's why. I want some Cajun food, though. Oh, you, want, you just yeah. had crawfish? I know, I want more. <laughs> I had my first crawfish earlier, I was excited. Well, we got jambalaya, gumbo. I'll do all that. Fried gator. Well, any kind of gator. I like gator. I want to try that. I never we, could, that. we could do gator. You want right. to listen to some right. Cajun music, too? Sure. All right. And Cajun dancing. I don't know if I could do some Cajun dancing. I I'd don't probably know embarrass either. the hell out of myself. We'll try it together. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Well, we'll let you go now. Awesome. Thank you very much. And thank you. <laughs>